the popular American media outlet Politico, has written an article highlighting Azerbaijan's role in the South Caucasus region, which reads, After Azerbaijan regained its occupied territories in a military offensive this September, following three decades of armed conflict with Armenia, the world is faced with the possibility of the country becoming a constructive player in the South Caucasus. However, for such a transformation to succeed, it would require a much more coordinated approach from the United States and the European Union. The first priority, of course, would be to forge a comprehensive peace treaty between Armenia and Azerbaijan, with both parties vowing to recognize each other's territorial integrity. The US, EU, and Turkey air must lead the mediation process, as they would directly benefit from such a settlement, which could foster security links and economic interconnectivity in the region. While Russia and Iran have tried to monopolize the peace process thus far, the US and the EU have been too passive in engaging with Baku and Yerevan, despite the fact that both governments support American and European involvement. Their author, Janusz Bogajski, a senior fellow at the Jamestown Foundation, compares the anti-terror measures implemented in Karabakh to Croatia's military operation in the summer of 1995. Their article depicts that in accordance with reports by international organizations, including a United Nations mission, the Azerbaijani military didn't target civilians in Karabakh through ethnic cleansing, rather much of the exodus of the Armenian population is a result of the three-decade war, and both have the right of return to their ancestral lands. An agreement to open the Zongozhua Sunni corridor without violating Armenian sovereignty needs to be urgently reached. If achieved, the road and rail connection between Azerbaijan and its exclave of Nakhchivan, next to the Turkish border, could become a valuable trade route directly connecting the Caspian Basin with Turkey Air and NATO territory. This would also diminish Iranian influence in the region and enhance the West's links with Central Asia, Bulgaisky claims.